G'day folks, it's Larry here from Evershower. Uh, I just want to show you uh, briefly how to set up the Evershower for the first time if you've just bought one and you're just not sure how to set it up. Um, it's a little bit different setting it up for the first time as you would setting it up every time you, when you're actually on the road. Um, there's a few different ways to set up the Evershower but I'm just going to show you the standard uh, freestanding way. Um, so here we go. So we pull it out of the box. So there it is. That's the ever shower. Um, just find a nice flat surface, nice even surface to light sit it on. Um, two bungee cords on the side to release the lid. Um, you can put it next to the shower. Inside we've got our ever shower pump kit. That's the monsoon pump. Uh, we've got tent poles. These are the four vertical poles. Then there's one pole uh, which is for the top of the frame. A um, little bag of odds and ends. And that's the tent itself, the shower tent. And the little accessory clothesline, I'll show you that later. So first thing we'll do is put the frame up. So take out your four tent poles. and just slot them into each of the corners. So there's a little tube in each corner and the tent poles just slot neatly into each of those. And then we put the roof, this is the top part of the frame, just um, hold it from the top, let the bottom all fall into place and then they just slip over the top of each of the poles. And then we take the tent. So all we want to do with the tent to begin with, so there's the white roof. Uh, just look for the four, these are the main hooks on the corners. The, the tent is made exactly square and the tub is exactly square. So that means you can orientate it however you like. For example, you might want the drain on one side but you want the door of the tent on the other side or you want the pump and the hose on one side but you want the door on the other side you can have it any way around you like so generally when I set it up I like the, the pump on this side and I like the door on this side but uh, obviously you can do it whichever way you like um, but if you do it this way it makes the um, switch nice and accessible when you want to switch the pump on and off and it also keeps the, sh the um, the hose um, out of your way when you're showering. But to begin with, all we're going to do is see where the door is. So we just clip the four corner hooks up. The next thing we're going to do is um, there's eight Velcro straps in the bottom of the uh, shower tent and they hook into the little points of attachment. So when you hook them in, <coughs> try to adjust it so that the, the bottom of the hem on the shower tent is just below the top of the tub. And once you put these in for the first time, you can pretty much leave them in here permanently. You don't have to do this again unless you want to take the tent out because you want to clean it or something. Generally it just stays attached in the bottom and it's ready to go every time. So the next thing you want to look for in your kit is uh, two little Velcro straps. That just grab the long one because that's the one that is used to secure the water pump. So all you do with that is slide it in through these little slots here. Just slide it through with the Velcro facing out and that's ready to go. So uh, with the other Velcro strap, that's just used to hold the, um, the water hose to the side of the tent so it's not in your way while you're showering. Just slide that little Velcro strap through this loop. That loop is just um, 20 centimetres down from the top corner inside. And um, 
so that's ready to go. You might need to just fold that in half so you can slip it through um, and that can just stay in there permanently if you like once that's in the first time. So what we can do now is attach the roof to the top of the pole frame. You might need to just undo one of those corner ones to give it some slack to do that and then you can hook it back up. Um, and really that's all the hooks that you need in order to shower. There's plenty of other hooks. If it's really windy you can put them on if you want to. There's the shower rose. And there's the pump. And then inside this little bag if you just empty the contents this just contains a lot of little odds and ends that you need. We're just looking for uh, this little this is the hands-free uh, piece for the shower heads. We're just going to attach that nice and tight onto the shower rose. So there's a little carabiner in there as well with the clothesline and if you just clip that on and there's your hands-free shower rose. All right next thing uh, most important just have a look inside it's uh, usually in the same bag as the shower rose but just put that washer inside here and then you can screw the shower rose on. So again this can all stay connected once you've once you're using it on a regular basis you don't have to undo all this each time. All right so now we've got our pump shower rose we're just going to put that inside the tub um, but the best thing to do is to actually hang the shower rose get that into position first the way you want it and then do the pump last and you'll find that that's an easier way to get the shower rose and make sure it's exactly in the right position. So there's our shower rose nicely in position it's just hooked to the little loop at the top of the tent um, and see how I've turned the carabiner around so it's got the broad end on this side and the narrow end on the loop side and then just uh, run the hose down the side of the tent and then there's that little velcro strap that we put in before so just hook that in to keep the hose out of the way. So now we've got our pump and the uh, power cable if you just poke the power cable up through the tent so it's outside um, now we're just going to secure the pump into the um, saddle so that just sits in there nicely and then this strap just poke it around this one and then just velcro that on there like that. Something else you can do, see the power cable here, if you just put that underneath the velcro strap it just means if you do need to pull on that cable on the outside it won't be pulling the, sh the um, shower tent up, it'll just be pulling on that strap instead. All right, all we have to do now is add water. So I've got a five litre little jerry can here. So I've just put five litres of water in. It can be an idea um, if you're experiencing the airlock with the water pump so it doesn't pump immediately when you switch it on, then maybe try a bit more water in. Um, so just grab your power cord. Um, so this is just a little cigarette lighter plug. It's uh, any 12 volt DC power source will power this pump. Um, these are designed to plug into the cigarette lighter in your car. I've got a, a little battery pack here that I power it from. So just plug it in. Grab the switch. It's a good idea to put the switch up here. Put the hook on so that it's in a nice um, position where it's easy to reach when you're inside the shower. All right. So I switch the power on. If it doesn't pump straight away, just switch it off again. If you try it a few times, it might pump. Otherwise, put a bit more water in and then try it again. There it goes. So when you finish showering you can just uh, open the 
Just zip a little bit here, poke your hand out, switch it off. There's a few different ways to drain the water. Um, there is a drain on the side and there's a drain inside on the base. Um, if you don't want water going on the ground immediately here, for example, um, right now, we're inside, and if we want to run the water outside, then we can just undo this drain, um, put this little barb inside, screw that into where the yellow side drain is, and then you can plug a hose onto the side of that, and you can run the water anywhere you like. And another option to empty the water is to take the shower rose, undo it from the from the hose. Put that end into your bucket of water and turn the pump on. And then to pack it down, just release the pump, lie it down inside the tub, unplug the power cord, undo all your hooks. And in the tub, so you can leave the tent attached in the base. If you want to use it as a clothesline, just drop the tent in the tub, put the lid on, just grab your clothesline out of the packet, and then little carabiners on each corner, and hook them on. There it is, clothesline. And then to pack the frame away, just the reverse. Take the roof off, just um, fold it up like that, drop it in the tub, and then the four corner poles. Now chuck the lid on, and you're done.